out of turn four. Capital Chevrolet. I know all, and we're going racing here with Jeff Axon Jackson taking the lead in turn number one. Like Jeremy Mox going to muscle his way to the second spot. Adrian Laster is going to take third. Eric Martin's going to be in the fourth spot. We got a smoker on the racetrack coming around turn number four. That smoker is car number 74. I don't have a name for that car. And here we go. And you got Jeff Action Jackson with Jeremy Mock making a move on him to go into turn number four. With Coming out of turn four, we're gonna have two laps in the booth. Dennis, it was told by Charlie, he was trying to make the announcement to, to the fans. We, we're good, let's finish this last race. We're gonna get it done. Thanks to everybody for being here. And uh, yeah, Bombers, they're fun for 15 laps. Remember last week they ran twin 15s? Second race, they couldn't even finish the race. Yeah. Right now, they're not wasting no time. You got a musketer killer out there <laughs> yes, right now. It he, does, yes. He, he's doing a good job. The battle for the lead, Jeff Anson Jackson trying to hold off Jeremy Mock. They're side by side to go across the start finish line. <clears throat> Four laps in the books. Still side by side. And now you got a three way battle going into turn number three. They're going to go three wide as Adrian Laster in car 115 now has muscled his way underneath Jeff Action Jackson. Now they're three wide going into turn number one. Something's going to have to give. And Jeremy Mock's going to take the lead down the back stretch with Laster and Jackson side by side for the second spot. Yeah. Jeremy Mock, your new leader. No doubt about it, bud. This all happening as they work their way to the back straightaway. Jeremy Mock now goes to the number one spot. The 84 falling back to second. Adrian Lasseter third up the outside. Here comes now Sammy Pachit. Sammy Pachit now looking after that three car battle for the lead as they work out of turn four. Yeah, Sammy Pachit started way back for that. They draw for positions, they don't qualify. But now you got side by side for first place between Adrian Lasseter and Jeremy Mock. And Mock goes way high coming out of turn two. And now you got Jeff Action Jackson pulling down in front of Sammy Pachit like he's gonna be a blocker. Yeah, and we're coming to halfway, by the way, this time by. Leader Mock cross flags out. Now Adrian Lasseter will be the man that'll lead in that car. Number 15, the top spot. Mock to second, third is Pachit here. They work off turn four for the second half of the race and for the final race of the season at Wake County Speedway. And Jeremy Mock. Whoa, trouble contact. Save it. They did the cars. Boy, that was close, Dennis. Oh, they, they Zero knocked one it in and, and Daniel Stevenson and uh, Tim Clevenger, 0-1 about got together. Yeah, and you got the, uh, the 01 car in the mix, too. Five to go. Okay, where are we at? Okay, Jeremy Mock, still your <laughs> leader. Where are we at? <laughs> Eric Martin going to go down a lap, and now you got Pachink giving a, a legend or Lester a little bump, and he almost wrecked him. And coming out of turn number two, now Pachink now is in second spot. Jeremy Mock in the lead as we cross start finish line. 11 laps in, four to go. It is 11 laps remaining, four laps to go. All the while, this battle continues. Jeremy Mock trying to win the battle. Sammy Pachit trying to win the war. He got a bump from Pachit down to the inside. He looks for the lead. He got it by at least half a car length, by at least half a hood, if you will, as they go back into the corner. And that's Daniel David Fleming in that 05 car being lapped now by Pachit and Mock. And Pachit has taken the lead. Two to go. What do you guys say? Sammy Pachit, he's been tough in these uh, Regal Driving Academy bombers all year. He has. And man, he's been phenomenal. And that goes to truck. Steve DeBreeze with Collins. With the, with the, the lawnmower, he's man. He's still got the lawnmower. White flag in the air. Five-time voice away, County Speedway. Dennis McDonald, bring us to the finish of the final lap of the 2022 season, my friend. And Sammy Pachit going in, turn number three. Jeremy Mock behind him. Well, I don't think Mott's going to make a move on him. He's a little bit too far behind. Car start, cross start finish line. Second flag waves over Sammy Pachink as he wins one more time here. Wake County Speedway sews up the championship as well. Jeremy Mott will finish in the second spot. Adrian Laster get credited for the third spot. Finishing in the fourth spot will be the 8D of Daniel Stevenson. And then James Seagrove in car number 74 will be credited with the fifth spot.